cutting some geodes. How do I cut my geodes? I'm using a wet saw and as you can see it's got water coming out on both sides. Now this has a diamond blade. As it spins it's actually quite safe because it doesn't cut you. There are different types of geodes that I have in front of me. This one I cut using a saw or a wet saw and as you can see there's cavities inside and small crystals. This one is an agate geode or it's not really a geode but I would say an egg but you don't know whether it's a geode or an egg or a solid piece until you cut them or open them up. This one I use a saw and as you can see there's no crystals inside it but it just have a nice pattern. These three pieces over here got smashed up. So someone just took a hammer and smashed into them. I won't mention names but the other half of this one you can see that there's a nice cavity, crystal cavity and the other half just broken up into hundreds of pieces and would have been good if it was cut using a wet saw and then that way you can have the two halves showing the crystal formations inside. This one is a thunder egg. It's got a cavity inside it but it's only small but minute bits of crystals. If you smash this one it's still okay but it's still best to use a wet saw for this ones. So the other half of it is gone because it's just broken up into lots of pieces and it's actually quite a big egg when uh, it started off. And this one was the same thing. It's a formation with a cavity inside it showing a couple of crystals. So this one was broken up with the use of a hammer as well. And the other half of it has broken off into lots of small pieces. But to try and salvage it, I just cut through again and that way I, I'm still able to save one side of it. Now you also get big pieces like this of geodes. This is quite big. I'm still soaking it and cleaning it. So this actually was a huge geode that was smashed up. So it was my husband who did this, the culprit. So, but it was a massive big geode that got smashed up as well. So it would have been good if we were able to save this and have two halves. But today's video is more of how to cut the geode from Murala or specifically the Morala crystals that we call them. Unlike pieces like this or that one that you can just cut straight through, unfortunately with the Morala crystals you can't just cut straight through with a saw. The crystal itself, the smoky quartz crystal, protrudes. So if you try and cut it with a saw you would cut the crystal in half. Instead of cutting straight through I cut around it. This one so I've cut that with a saw on the bottom and then crack it open around and then this one I just crack open with a screwdriver. So I'll show you how to do that now. So the very first one is the screwdriver technique. So I only do this with geodes that's already got a crack. So like this one you can see there's already a crack when we found it and I can see some crack lines going through there and it sort of stopped there. So with this one it's just a matter of wedging it with a screwdriver and as you can see the crystals in them are actually falling off as well so you get little bits like that that's sort of still hanging on you get another one there and so that one now that I've already opened that if I want to go further to the top of that I would use a wet sauce. So I have a few eggs here that I need cutting. So we'll just take one. First I examine it, see if there's any cracks. This one's here, you can see that there's already a fracture line running across there. So I'm going to use that as a guide to cut this egg. So 
So I've just cut a little bit so I'm not cutting this one straight through I'm just going to turn this around until I get to the other side. So now I've already cut around as you can see. So now I'll just take my screwdriver and just wedge it. There you go. So as you can see that one doesn't have any smoky quartz in it. That one has got a little crystal in it. So it's got that smoky quartz in the corner. So now cutting it this way prevents it from cutting through the crystal. So if you just cut straight through and if the crystal growth is right smack in the middle, then you would cut through the crystal as well. So this is, I found, the best way of cutting them. So I'm going to go have another one, see if you can find some more. Mm -hmm. 